Hello, my name is Diane Eubanks and I'm the Family and Consumer Science teacher at Stillwell High School. And today I would like to take you through a step-by-step -step video for how to make a port pillow. If you do not know what a port pillow is, this is a port pillow. It is a rectangular piece of cotton fabric made into a little pillow. And this pillow is designed to protect a cancer patient's port from the seat belt. I have been told by a cancer survivor that almost always a person will get their port infected by the rubbing of the seat belt if they don't have one of these, plus it's painful. So to help with that discomfort, um, we are constructing these little pillows and they're just a little polyfoam fill, fill pillow. They have Velcro on the back and we're going to pretend this is the seat belt and the seat belt you just undo the Velcro and strap it on the seat belt and this side protects. If the port were on my hand, this would protect it as they're wearing the seat belt and it holds it up off their body. So let's get started. Uh, first, I would like to show you how to make the pattern. The pattern needs to be a four by seven rectangle. So, my students always have a lot of trouble when I assign them to make patterns. So I'm going to step you through this. We're going to take this uh, ruler and we're going to set it at four inches and we're going to mark because our pillow is four inches wide. And we're just going to keep moving it down, making sure it's straight and making our little marks. And then we're going to measure and do the same way thing the other direction for seven inches because the pillow needs to be seven inches long. Then we're going to connect all of our lines here to make the rectangle. Match it up draw across it, match it up this direction, and draw across it. And I missed that line a little bit, but I can fix that. You're going to go back just a little bit more and draw the line. So this is seven inches here, four inches here, and you're going to cut that out. When you get it cut out, you have this. And we're going to use this scrap of fabric. Um, in my family and consumer science department, we have lots of these little pieces. And this project is going to be great for putting those to good use. You're going to place your pattern on the straight of the grain of the fabric. On a woven fabric, the threads run diagonally and vertically. And you want to have your pattern straight with those. Like we would not want to cut it out at that angle, it makes it difficult to sew. Uh, you want to cut it with the straight of the grain of the fabric. So we're going to take and put a few pins in this to get it cut out. You can put as many as you need. Sometimes uh, when you're beginning, a lot of pins make it easier for you. You might use four pins in this and put one on each side because it is a smaller pattern. Okay, and now you're ready to cut it out. So I'm going to skip that step with you. And here we go uh, to one that's already cut. Um, you're going to take your two sides and separate them. And if this were a patterned fabric, you are going to place this Velcro strap on the top. And I'll show you an example. I have this lovely um, tribal print that I was working on and I wanted my tribal man to be on the front of the pillow. Well, it made sense to me that I would put the Velcro on the back. If you put the Velcro on the back when you're sewing this, then when you turn the pillow, the Velcro was right across my tribal man. 
and this one had to be taken apart and re-sewn. I don't want that to happen to you. So whatever, if you're using a print like the Tribal or a Tigger um, or even this Tribal one, you're going to want to make sure when you're attaching that Velcro to it that you put it on the front side. I also have uh, this little ribbon pillow. Uh, one thing you should also keep in mind too when you're choosing your fabric for these pillows is cancer is gloomy and doomy and it's, it's a dark time. Don't pick fabric that has been in somebody's attic for 30 years. You need bright, happy fabrics. Um, fabrics such as these make really great pillows. In our area, we have lots of Native American populations, so I made the tribal ones. Uh, lots of adults love, love Tigger. And some other good examples of fabrics that you might want to use would be bandanas, uh, possibly uh, camouflage. Those are good unisex patterns. So is um, Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, lots of people like OU. And then we have some ladies ladies fabrics like the polka dot and the flowers okay so we're ready to move on we had that short lesson on centering you're gonna take and you're gonna fold one of your pieces in half and you're gonna finger press it and finger pressing just means pressing down and running your finger across it to the point that it has a crease in it and then you're gonna take and place your velcro and I usually put the stiff side down. You're gonna put that in the center of your crease. And you're gonna pin it. And pinning through it is kind of hard. So if it looks like I'm struggling, it's because it's very hard. That Velcro, the stiff part is hard to pin through. Okay, then you're gonna to go to the other side where your crease is and you're gonna match it up. And at this point, you can put your Velcro together so it's out of your way and you're gonna pin it down. I like to pin to the outside where the pin heads are on the outside of your fabric because it is easier to remove whenever you're sewing. And you wanna be sure and remember not to sew over pins because um, it could break a pin or break the needle on the sewing machine and it could flip up and hit you in the face. So now we're ready to go to the sewing machine. Okay, we're at the sewing machine and you want to sew very close to the edge on your Velcro. So I'm gonna remove the pin now. I'm gonna tie a knot or if your machine backstitches, you'll need to backstitch here and attach the Velcro. This just makes it easier when you're attaching your two pieces of the pillow together if the Velcro has already been stitched in place. Okay, we're going back to the mat. Okay, we have our Velcro stitched in place. Now we're going to take both right sides of the fabric and put them together. And you can use as many pins as you need. I've been sewing for a long time so I don't need very many pins. Uh, but you're going to pin it together and remember pin to where the balls of your pins are on the outside so they're easy to remove as you're sewing. Okay, now we're going back to the sewing machine. Okay, it's time to take it to the sewing machine. You're going to sew one fourth of an inch, a, a one fourth an inch seam. On my sewing machine, it's the first full line. On yours, it should, it may be different, but it should be marked. And you're going to take out your pins as you go. And when you get to the corner, slow down. Because to make your corner perfect, you're going to have to leave your needle down and lift your foot up and turn. 
And you should have practiced this earlier in your sewing guides before you started this project. And here we go, another corner. Remember, needle down and turn. And you're closing up three sides on this pillow. So you will have sewn, shown the, sewn the OU, U. There you go, you've got your U. Now we're taking it back to the mat. You get this part finished, you're gonna trim the corners and you're just gonna take and trim away three little snips on that corner. And the wear and tear on this is going to be at the Velcro strap. So you should take the, the pillow back at this point to the machine and stitch several times over the area where the Velcro strap is. And I'm gonna do that at this time. Okay, now here we have it. And we're going to turn the pillow. And if you're not familiar with a point turner, we're going to use a point turner. Uh, probably there will someone, there is probably one in your department at your school. And it looks like a little ruler with a point to the end. And that will turn your corners without punching them out. Because if you use something sharp, sometimes you can tear out the end of your, um, of your corner and we don't want to do that. We're almost finished and we don't want to go back and have to fix anything. So gently you're going to push those corners out. And now you're gonna take polyfill and you're gonna fill the pillow. It's important that you use new polyfill and you're gonna kind of fluff it up a little bit when you take it out of the bag and put it inside. The reason you need to use new polyfill is because cancer patients, have, their immune systems are weakened by the treatments and you want to use good clean not stuffing that came from an old pillow at home uh, because there might be something transmitted into that stuffing into their pillow because cancer patients have to be a lot more careful than a normal person and it's hard to say, tell you exactly how much stuffing i can't give you a measurement on it um, if I didn't mention your little Velcro here is three and a half inches in length, but I can't give you a measurement on the polyfill, but I can give you a little test that you can do. Uh, you don't want your pillow to be too hard or too soft. And you can also use this point turner to kind of push some of the polyfill into the corners on your pillow if you feel like it's not going in there like it should. You're gonna do a squeeze test and you're gonna squeeze the pillow together like that and you want it to be about like this much between your fingers um, whenever you push the sides in. And that's a soft pillow, but it's firm enough to protect from the um, seat belt. So this pillow has two purposes. It um, it protects and it also it protects and helps them not to get their port infected but it also eases the pain that they don't feel pain or very little discomfort with with the seat belt on and their port in so now we're going to fold in a fourth of an inch at the at the top and we're going to pin it to make it easier And we're gonna stitch that closed. We're almost finished. And this didn't take very long and it would be, and it's a very nice gesture for someone who's battling for their life. Okay, so we're ready to go back to the sewing machine. Okay, we're gonna place the little pillow up there close to the edge. We're going to tie a knot or back stitch and we're going to be carefully take out all those pins as you're stitching your your last seam on the pillow All 
All right, we're finished. And the finishing touch, after you trim all the strings, you're finished. We made these little cards. And we're gonna place them in the pillow. And the card reads, pillows that ease the ouch, wrap the hook and loop tape, tape around your seat belt with the pillow against your body ouch. Machine wash, gentle, hang your dry, 100% cotton body, uh, polyester, polyfill, nylon hook, and loop tape, especially made for you by Stillwell High School member. And the member has their option to sign that and we'll slip it in the pillow and this will be donated to a cancer treatment center near us. We hope you join us in making a difference in your community by getting your chapter involved with this great project. I, Raina Manessis, as your Northeast 5 District President, challenge each member from your chapter to make a difference and complete at least three port pillows.